Ascended Masters are guides and way showers of wisdom for us to learn from and show you the greatest progress for your path. El Moria is an Ascended Master who lived in complete obedience to the Divine Will. Join us as we discover the teachings of El Moria and how it will help us fulfill our divine destiny. In the many lives that El Moria lived, he lived in accordance to the will of the divine. When El Moria was Abraham, he was promised by God great blessings if he obeyed him. His obedience to God is well known to Jews and Christians, and he was known as the father of nations. He was blessed by God for such obedience. Then El Moria lived as King Arthur, a ruler with mythical infamy and character. King Arthur created the Table Round, a brotherhood embodying honor and bravery. This brotherhood, headed by King Arthur, is known for their loyalty to the kingdom. They treasure and honor respect, justice, courage, and honesty. It is also believed that he lived as Thomas Becket and Thomas More. Thomas Becket was an archbishop in the time of King Henry II. Beckett stood by his principle, even when it was in conflict with the king. Thomas More also lived a principled life in the reign of Henry VIII. He too was in conflict with the king of England. Both Beckett and More were executed as they stood by what they believed. Elmore's obedience to the divine will was unwavering, even in the face of great peril and death. In the 1800s, El Moria was known to work with some unascended masters to found the Theosophical Society. They teach the higher truths to humankind. It was believed that he ascended to the spirit realm in 1896. And even when he was in the spirit realm, he continues to teach humanity to seek and obey the will of the divine. In every lifetime that he has lived, El Morra is driven by his faith in the Source and in the Divine Blueprint. Today, he is known as one of the Ascended Masters who guide humans in finding their own divinity and fulfilling their purpose. He is the Kohan of the First Ray, the Blue Ray of the Divine Will and Protection. What is a Kohan? What does the first ray mean? Kohan literally means chief or lord in Sanskrit. They are spiritual leaders in an ascended state after achieving so much for their contribution to the betterment of mankind. We learn from the ascended masters, the seven rainbow rays embodying divine qualities that will make us whole. The blue ray is the first ray. It is attributed to the will of the divine faithfulness and divine power. El Moira, together with Lanto, Paul the Venetian, Serapis Bay, Nada, and Saint Germain, makes up the seven Kohans of the earth. The blue ray reminds us of the divine power. We are encouraged to remain faithful determined and courageous as we go through the path to fulfill our spiritual life. Undeniably, we harbor old pains and fears. These hinder us from taking the necessary steps towards our spiritual growth. In the words of El Moira, the path of self-healing is the path of self-knowledge. We need to know who we really are, not as individuals separate from the world, 
but as a being that is connected to the great web of the universe. It is with our knowledge of our whole being, of what our role is, that we can start accepting everything that makes us who we are. Accepting our true self lets us heal from the old pains and the new griefs that hinder us from exemplifying our infinite capabilities. The lives of El Moira showed to us the way to know our purpose in life. But he reminds us to think of this life purpose as founded by the divine will and not by worldly will. El Moira shows to us the blessings we can have when we put our absolute faith in the will of the divine. El Moira wants us to work on our surrender to the designs of the source. He knows that because we have been exposed to the material world, it will be hard to let go of our human will. He said it is in letting go that liberation is obtained. When we let go of the past, of our own worldly will, we free ourselves for the blessings to come and fill our life. Furthermore, when we embody the teachings of his works and life, we will learn to trust the love and wisdom of the divine. We will learn to ask for divine guidance. We will become more aware of the divine intervention. We will learn to pay attention to the signs from the universe that tell us what we should do to fulfill our life purpose. El Moira also encourages us to strengthen our connection with the divine. When we meditate and commune with the divine, we can open and enter the spirit realm to discover why we are here in this lifetime. Connect and commune with Ascended Master El Moira, and he will help you embody the attributes of the blue ray. He will guide you as you strengthen your faith and do your works to achieve and accomplish the will of God. There will be challenges along the way, but with the right guidance, you will be led to the highest state of your spirituality. Remember the words of El Moira, life is a physical manifestation of the spiritual journey. Everything that you have experienced will lead you to your spiritual path. Being brought here by the blue ray of El Moira is a sign that you are about to learn of your divine purpose. Keeping your faith in his love and guidance will give us courage to fulfill our reason for existence, even when we inevitably face challenges along the way. Embodying the attributes of the blue ray will give us the power to grab our own fate and live in accordance to the designs of the source. El Moira showed us the greatness we can achieve. Crossing paths with El Moira in this time of your life is a sign that you are ready for the plans of the divine. Aren't you excited? Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos about Ascended Masters, Angel Signs and Music and Guided Meditations.